What's going on YouTube? Joshua here at SaltyScales.com. So today I'm bringing you something special. I'm gonna catch a catfish, a saltwater catfish, and we're gonna do a catch and cook. Now guys, I've never eaten a saltwater catfish. So the old notion is you just don't eat them. They're a trash fish, they're nasty. They're the scum of the salt water. Well, we're gonna see. You know, I've never had a desire to eat one. I'd much rather eat grouper or snapper. But you know what? We're gonna do it for you. I'm sacrificing myself. So let's jump in. What I'm gonna do is use a simple popping cork. This popping cork you've seen on other episodes, such as my sheephead episode. I also use them sometimes for mackerel. Nice light setup. Got the little uh, Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus and the St. Croix Premier Rod. Real light, and I got some shrimp. Let's go get them. Let's get them. Use a number one little owner circle hook. I'm just gonna hook these right here in the horn. Let them get nice and flicky. Now, I've already seen something moving around right here. So we're gonna see what happens here. Ooh. I missed them. Oh, guys, I don't think this is gonna take long. They got my shrimps. What I'm gonna do, since they were so aggressive at grabbing it, I'm gonna hook them in the tail. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was a snapper. That was a snapper and he just bit it in half. Oh, the snapper just ate it again. <laughs> Wrong species. That's all right. I'm sight fishing right now. Watch those fingers with these guys. Look at that beautiful fish. God, we need one of these big ones right here. Oh shoot! Ouch. How did you miss that? Oh, it was huge. You got it. Oh. This isn't a little one. Looks like it's a hard head. Really fighting. It is your unlucky day, buddy. Whew. That is not a bad little catfish, guys. We're gonna make him lunch. Let's see if we can catch another one. Where's Jack? Oh, he's jumping. So what's really nice about using a cork, guys, is that it helps keep your bait off of the bottle. So in other words, it's constantly m moving with the current or the wind, and it really allows the predator fish to see the prey. And that's why I really like using a cork oftentimes. Something's on him right now. Oh yeah, he's swimming like a crazy, crazy shrimp. Holy cow, what was that? Oh, he came off. What in the world was that? I popped the cork and guys, I had one just come up and blast this shrimp. 
tore him in half pretty much. That's a shame because that was a beautiful one. Since we're after catfish though, we'll just chum them up. Come on. Wrong species. The snapper have invaded the bay. Too bad they're not of size. The markings on that fish are gorgeous. The targeted species. Man, look at the belly on that thing. And I got my shrimp back. Well, you got to be careful, guys. These guys will barb you and they are poisonous. And let me tell you, you will know it. That's why you see me secure them by using pliers on the top of the mouth because their head is very hard and no, it doesn't harm them. Might not feel too good, but it keeps them secure to where they're not shaking and going to pull on barbs into your leg because believe it or not, it's like a hypodermic needle and it will go right through your leg. And you'll just secure them just like this. Take the hook out. First off, you're not wiping off any slime. You don't have to touch them. And then watch this, they'll swim right away. Just like that. There he is. There he is. Feels like another kitty. Yes, I was correct. Woo, another fat belly. Holy smokes. They got some bellies on them. Ah, frog species. Well, these guys are popular today. So whenever you want to catch a snapper, you just come out and try to catch catfish, see? That's all you got to do. I can't do this. Where's all my ingredients? Why do people move my stuff? I can't do this. I just can't oh, do yeah. it. yeah. Have a Snickers. Mm. Okay, much better. Let's get to it. So what we have here is our skinned catfish. This is saltwater catfish at that. Yummy. First time for me. Now, I've already skinned this, as you can see. So what I wanna do, see what kind of meat they got on here. I've never ever filleted a saltwater catfish. Very similar to freshwater, I can tell you that, just by you know the skinning process and seeing what I see but let's see what we got in here the meat definitely looks a little different All right, guys, let's go over all the ingredients that'll be used in this wonderful catfish recipe. Now, this is really a good catfish recipe, but I've only known it to be good for freshwater catfish. It has to be good for saltwater, right? Give a thumbs up if you think so. So come on over here. Some of the beautiful spices. After I ate that Snickers, I was able to calm down and found that I did have all the spices required. 
So, ground cayenne red pepper, lemon pepper, black pepper restaurant, garlic granulated, zesty Italian fat free, the yummos. And of course, here we got some olive oil cooking spray, and then uh, some fundamental utensils and butter. So what we're going to do is preheat the oven at 350. It takes about six minutes. While we're doing that, we're going to prepare our fillets. Let's continue on. You're going to need two teaspoons of all of these seasons. So, and you know, I'm never one for uh, exact measurements, but I get it kind of close. So that's the lemon pepper, two teaspoons. Cayenne, you know, they say two teaspoons here. I'm gonna go a little lighter on here because other people eat it. I like spicy food, but uh, some of the other individuals do not. All right, black pepper, can't go wrong with black pepper. All right, so one teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of black pepper. Now, we have granulated garlic. Two teaspoons of granulated garlic. And I'll tell you what, guys, this stuff, sometimes it hardens, and it is no joke. Garlic is delish, and it really adds some good flavor to the fish. So that's an approximate amount there of two teaspoons. So now what we're gonna do is just mix a little salt in here. They say two teaspoons, but you know, I like to salt my flays too, so we won't get too crazy with that. Now you just break up some of that gar granulated uh, garlic in here. Mix everything around. So what we're gonna do is heat up our pan, our little saute pan, get it about medium heat or so. That will do the job just fine. You're gonna use about two tablespoons of butter. At least that's what the recipe calls for. You can also just, you know, kind of like um, feel it out. You know, you know, you don't have to do everything exactly the way the recipe calls for. Um, obviously you may have more or less fish too. So that's gonna base, um, for this particular recipe, you're supposed to have at least a pound of meat. Now what you wanna do is kinda just sprinkle your seasoning onto your fillets. get too zealous here because you want to be able to flip them over and coat the other sides. Alright, so here comes your olive oil. Pan should be nice and heated and let's go ahead and put a thin coat of that on there everything should be to temperature and we're going to take our little fillets and drop them right in oh yeah oh yeah mm. we're going to brown these fish as you know only takes especially if it's only you know, three quarters or half an inch. I mean, it's not going to take long, usually two minutes. Um, a minute on each side, or two minutes on each side, depending on the thickness of the clay. So we'll let that simmer, and you'll see it. It'll turn really, really white. Um, this is very quick and easy. So men, if you want to impress the wives or the girlfriends, and you want to cook something quick and yummy, fish is always a good alternative. Um, Next to lobster. Mm. 
Now go ahead and pull your fish fillets out of here, guys. This is why you preheated the oven. You don't want to overcook these because they are going back into the oven as well. So go ahead, pull them out. Let's put them in our little, our oven proof glass pan. And look at these fillets already. So the next part of the recipe calls for Zesty Italian. And uh, since we only have these small little fillets, we're only gonna use about a, a half a cup or so. And this is where the yummy part comes in. Just drizzle this onto the fish fillets. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My lordy, my lordy. Now, I preheated 350 degrees. Go ahead and set your timer to 20 minutes. Countdown begins. Turn your pan off here for your wife's get mad at you for cooking her pan. 20 minutes later. Ooh, nice and hot. Oh my goodness. What do we have here? Young May. I'll tell you what, it looks good. It smells good, and it doesn't look anything like what it did before we put it in there. But the question is, does it taste good? Time will tell. Saltwater catfish. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Oh, <clears throat> let me taste <clears throat> that cayenne. Wow. It's chewy, but it's good. Wow. I'm not even just saying that, guys. It's a lot better. Than I originally thought it would be. And the thing, you guys have been throwing these back, calling them trash fish. You may want to try this recipe. I'll link it below in the description. And uh, this is yum yum stuff. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe. Have you ever ate saltwater catfish? Let me know below. Till next time, I'll see you on the water.